guys i love the guys so basically I'm, I'm in the kitchen as you can see it for yourself i have i'm going to make a lovely chili con carne long time you know there's something like this here it is i'm going to be using the pack for it chili con carne all right it's really spicy and nice you can get the pack to buy in the supermarket or your local shop or soup you know what i mean whatever but you can get the pack to make the chili con carne so what you do you mix this into some cold water or you can read the instruction at the back all right read the instruction at the back and make yourself chili con carne all right beef chili con carne hot spicy and nice and lovely all right now let's dig into it we got the chili we got some beef mince right here and this is five percent fat beef i wash it off into some lemon juice put this one side i got some peas this is some red kidney bean we're gonna be using the light spray oil lovely now right here um i must say to you i have white onion spring onion and garlic so what i'm gonna do is cut up the white onion all right just like that I'm using two medium sized fried onion. Now I got some spring onion that's gonna be using up all this spring onion to it. some garlic right there and I'm gonna be showing you how to use the garlic press if you need to get one of these garlic press you need to go to chef ricotta website and all right all right now it's so easy guys look at this all right so easy look at that beautiful and nice all right Just rock it on it, and that's it. Good to go. All right, nice one. Beautiful. Now, as I say, this is the garlic, white onion and spring onion, red kidney bean, mince. Chili con carne. We are good to go. Now, what we're gonna do is cook this beautiful chili con carne right here. We're gonna use a spray oil, all right? So, we got the chili, beef, we got the beef, chili con carne, red kidney bean. I'm using the tin one and all of the seeds right here. All right, now let's dig into it and show you how to make this beautiful chili con carne recipe from Chef Ricardo today. All right, if you like it, leave your comments in the description box. And remember, the garlic, how to do your garlic. So what you can do is get that beautiful garlic and put it with the mince. All right. I'll give you a little bit of tips with the garlic. All right, now what you can also do is get a 
teaspoon of all-purpose season on the mince. We're gonna put roughly about a teaspoon of mixed herb. Here it is. Um, this is just tomato and garlic. I'm gonna put a little bit of it. Also, you can put a bay leaf inside of it. All right, bay leaf is really nice. Black pepper. A little bit of garlic and salt. Paprika. I'm using some paprika. Pinch of cinnamon. All right, just a little pinch of cinnamon. Very nice. We're gonna put some kiwi in it. Lovely flavor. All right, what we're going to do is cook it up now, and I'll give you all the ingredients. Check on my Instagram or on my website, chefricotta.co.uk. Stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to make this beautiful chili con carne. Stay tuned. Nice one. So this is my pot right here. What I'm going to do is use my fry light oil. This is the chili one. So I'm going to spread it out. I'm going to spread it up like this. All right, spread it pot. And you want to put in your season. Now, I'm just gonna put in the beef. All right. The beef is just 250 grams of beef. So we're just gonna brown off the beef now, the mince. Smell amazing. Let's 
want to make sure you brown off the meat really properly. sure the meat really burn off properly. sure your mains cook properly so that look nice Just amazing guys, honestly it's just lovely, look at that, beautiful. And I'm being cooking on a medium sized heat. So it looks nice and not only that I wash off the mints so you're not gonna see any and drain it any you know what I mean dump wet meat inside of it like you know it's just gonna be amazing beautiful Sure, the main taste for the flavor. Mm. The 
amazing. Not only that, I got some, this is some Italian served Italian tomato pasta right here and sauce, tomato sauce, which I'm going to be using. This is like fat free tomato sauce. All right, I'm going to put a little bit in it. Because I have it in my fridge and I'm just using up it at the moment, you know. Looking good. Let's taste it with the sauce. Mm. Really nice. This is the most important bit, it's the chili, con carne. This is the powder one. And also you can get the liquid one to buy, all right? You brought this in the supermarket, you need to read the instruction how to use it, all right guys? sauce all right so that look nice okay and that's exactly what you're looking for turn on your stove a little bit low you don't want it at high temperature let's taste it and see Now I'm just gonna just leave this and I'm gonna show you how to cook some coconut rice to serve with it. Nice one guys. So basically I'm gonna be showing you how to cook some coconut rice. Alright. In this pot I have some rice. I just wash it off and I'm using basmatic rice. Alright. I did a video like this before. Now I'm using reduced fat coconut milk and I have a roughly about half cup inside of it. All right, I'm gonna just pour everything into the pot. Nice one. I'm just gonna show you how to make coconut rice at home. So what you wanna do, make sure you wash off the rice. You must have said, how much rice I have in the pot? Chef Ricardo, okay. I don't need to tell you how much rice. If you're at home, normally when you're cooking your rice, you know how much rice you normally use for two or three person, all right? So what you want to do, once you put in the, the milk, in the right, no water in it, so I'm going to add some water now. Give it a stir. So 
So what you want to do, you want to make sure there's a little bit of water over the rice, not much. All right, because I'm using basmatic rice, which is easy to cook. So you don't want to make sure, make sure that not too much water over it. Now, let's put in some black pepper. All right, and I'm going to put some sea salt in it. A stir. As I said, you just want to make sure you can take up the rice and a little bit of water over it. All right. Now, if you're cooking brown rice, you might need more coconut juice, more water. All right. If you're at home, the way you cook your rice, if you're using two cups of rice, one cup of rice, whatever you're using, you can use as much coconut milk inside of it. But do it at a empty pot with no water. All right. Just like how I did it a while ago. And then you just make sure the water is a little bit over the rice. Just again, go so with the rice and the water together. All right, that's looking good. So what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make this boil and cook. It's gonna take probably about 15 minutes the least. All right, enjoy it as we cook this coconut rice to serve with the chili con carne. Stay tuned with Chef Ricardo. Nice one, sir. This is the rice. I didn't even do nothing to the rice. I'm just gonna check it now. By the simple root it up. I'm just using looking good. Wrapping it with some flim flim like this. Alright, so it's gonna go now for 10 minutes. Nice one. Let's put the lid aside and steam it for about 10 minutes. Nice one. So now this is finished, guys. Alright. That's all Chef Ricardo now. I'm gonna do it in the kitchen. We're gonna shear it up, all right? This is it, rice ready. Just time to shear up. No time to mock about it. Uh, looking good. This is the chili. Amazing. Chili hard finish. Nice one. Let's share this beautiful meal right now. No time to mock about in the kitchen for chef for coming. Alright. Lovely. That is just amazing. And I have some steamed veg to go with it. I could do a nice lovely salad for it, but you know what I mean? I said, I'm gonna do some steamed veg. Beautiful. Yeah, why not? When we can make some lovely steamed veg in the evening. Yeah, that looking good. All right, now 
lovely and nice. Here it will go, Chef Ricardo. Jumping at it like this. Alright. She be concord it with some rice. This is the rice which we just cook. Look at that. That looking amazing. Sorry about that, guys. That looking amazing. Alright. Now it's time to put on that lovely sauce. Chili con color right there. And we are good to go. Alright. If you like the recipe, please. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe from Chef Ricardo on the team. Thank you so much for watching. And I will definitely see you.